today's video, we have a crazy rail combo through a pond, a giant mega gap over a cliff, and more in a brand new episode of Epic Skate 3 Challenges. Hey, what's up, guys? Zach here. Welcome back to another video. So today, as you guys can see, we are back on Skate 3, and today, we're doing another episode of Epic Skate 3 Challenges, a series where you guys send me your best Skate 3 challenges, and I try to do them right here in Skate 3. But guys, the end of the year is coming, so if you want to send in any last-minute Skate 3 challenges for me to try this year, make sure you send them to me on my subreddit. The link will be down in the description. We're almost at 5,000 members, so come and join the subreddit. It is r slash zexyzek. Oh my gosh, how did I land that? But we have some pretty awesome challenges to get to today. Let's do a quick miracle up. Yes, no! We gotta get one Miracle Whip to get us going. Yes! Oh, that was perfect. Okay. All right, we gotta get into some of these Skate 3 challenges. But before we get into that, I want to give a big thank you to the sponsor of today's video, Drakensang Online. Drakensang Online is an awesome free-to-play MMO game available on Steam right now. With over 10 years of active development and millions of players, you play as one of four unique classes and are tasked with uncovering the mysteries of Draconia by yourself or with friends. There are hundreds of hours of content, tons of quests, and thousands of weapons, charms, and items that you can use to build out your character and fight enemies. You can hop into PvP arenas and have battles with other players, or go into dungeons to fight bosses and complete challenges. And guys, their newest update, Realm of the Fire Lord, is the biggest update in the history of Draken Sang Online. It adds tons of new quests, maps, monsters, skills, and more. So guys, go and download Draken Sang Online using my link in the description, and you can see what the world of Draconia has to offer. Big thank you to Draken Sang Online for sponsoring this video, and let's get back into it. All right, guys, our first Skate 3 challenge of the day comes from Mr. Skate123. Let's watch this clip. It looks like they're at the memorial, and they built this this giant like rail that connects both sides of this like memorial pond let's see them actually skate it though they hop on with the heel flip and they skate all the way from rail to rail all the rails are on like dumpsters in the water that is so cool all the way to the other end they didn't even get their skater wet that's perfect i've never tried anything like this i am very excited let's head over to the memorial here we are at the pond as you can see there's actually no rails in there right now we're gonna have to place all the dumpsters and build a little like rail obstacle course basically all the way through i'm surprised they had enough speed to make it from one side to the other but okay we're gonna build this and just kind of see what happens i always love building these diy challenges so, okay let's put this dumpster in the water how do i do this do i just drop it in nope oh, yep there it goes and now hopefully i can just grab a rail i assume we're gonna want to use one of these and let's see just drop it on there okay that was not centered at all all right here we go that looks better okay i'm gonna build this whole thing out and then i'll get back to you guys a few moments later i honestly think the hardest part of this challenge is actually building the rails in this water i don't actually think the grind will be all too difficult but it will be annoying if i'm skating these rails and i knock one into the water because i'm gonna have to go and fix it every time hopefully it'll be a first try kind of thing all right here is our final rail this should hopefully connect the dumpster to the land perfect there we have it this actually looks pretty cool this is what i'm hoping doesn't happen i don't want to get my skater wet like this i feel like i placed this first rail too high like i don't think i can even ollie that high i'm gonna drop down a little bit of a ramp so that we can get onto this first rail a little bit easier because in the challenge video i was sent they actually use smaller rails i definitely use the ones that were too tall but all right here we go can we get this first try i don't call first tries very often guys but here we go nose grind okay we're going way too slow what is happening go 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 don't hit the water don't hit the water don't hit the water oh no we're stuck we're just stuck in the middle of the fountain oh there we go all right we already failed the challenge the goal is obviously to get to the other side without hitting the water i totally just missed the rail there let's get a running start here across the road all right we're dodging cars we're dodging people we're flying okay we're missing the rail watch out watch out watch out watch out watch out don't get in my way th oh my god all these people are just in my way okay come on here we go kick flip onto it yep oh yeah oh we're flying yep we're flying this is looking fantastic no how did I bail on the rail? All right, here we go. Watch out, businessman. Get out of... Are you kidding? Get out of my way. Get out of my way. Oh, my God. I made him mad. Okay, I'm just going to run right by him. Here we go. Yes. We're not even going to ollie. Oh, we don't even have to ollie onto the rail. Oh, we're flying. Oh, this has got to be it. Yep. Yep, we're flying. Oh, my gosh. Perfect. No, I was one rail away. Are you kidding me? Oh, this could be our best chance. Oh, I hit a car. That's okay. We're still going. There's no people around. Yes. Yes. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Stay focused. Stay no, I did not stay focused. No, oh, taxi, get out of my way, please. Oh, my. There's a woman right in front of my ramp. Oh, come on. Fun trick if you just hold down uh, down on the D-pad, everyone runs away. And there they go. Except for that guy. Run away. Run away. There we go. I was not expecting this to be so difficult. I must admit. Okay, here we go. 5-0. We got to get it this time. We got to get it this time. Yes. No, why? <laughs> why does it keep falling over that rail? Oh, my gosh. She has a gun. Okay, perfect. Hop over here. Nice. Keep the combo going. I like it. One more rail. Come on, make it to the end. And oh, a little tap at the end. We made it. There we go. The full rail combo. Oh, that was actually pretty hard, guys. That ending was just so fantastic. I was right at the end and I'm like, oh, boop. 
<laughs> just falls straight down. All right, we'll take it. First challenge complete. That was a really fun and creative one. All right, we should try to film this though. Almost ran out of speed at the end there, but there we go. We have it. Our first challenge complete. Big thank you to Mr. Skate123 for sending in that challenge. You know I love a good rail combo, but guys, we got to move on to our next challenge. I really like this next challenge, guys. It comes from General Eggy on my subreddit, or should I say, it comes from Heisenberg. As you can see, they're using Heisenberg from Breaking Bad. They do the speed glitch off the factory roofs. Huge fakie tail walk all the way down. Boom, and they hit the road right away, and then they just die immediately. If Heisenberg sends me a challenge, I have to try it, guys. So let's head to the industrial district. All right, guys. Guys, here we are on the factory roofs, and I think this is the spot that they start their speed glitch. So we gotta go flying down this way. I need to put a ramp here. I don't even know if we're gonna see where we're trying to land. We gotta go over this building in front of us and land on the road on the other side. But we're totally blind. Like, we can't even see where we're trying to land. Alright, so I'm gonna drop down a double ramp here and just kind of point it in the direction I think we need to go. Add these to my session marker. Alright, this is like a classic speed glitch gap. Can we get it first try? Never speak glitch first try, guys. And go. Okay, pretty good. Let's see. Now, can we see where we're trying to go? Wow, we did not even make it over the building. That was a bad first try. We need to be going pretty freaking fast. That's pretty good. Okay, there we go. Okay, I think I can actually see the road. It's on the other side of this building. There it is. We're trying to land all the way down there. Oh my gosh, this is a really far gap. I believe in myself, guys. Bang. Okay, I love it. Here we go. We're going flying. Okay, looks like we're getting farther and farther, but we need to make it all the way down here. And go. Okay, good speed glitch. Big Ollie. Oh my gosh, we're not even making it over this building yet. I think we're going to need like the super fast speed glitch. because This one is not cutting it. We're not making it far enough. Activate the super speed glitch. Yep, that's it. Okay, oh, that's the fast speed glitch right there. Oh, we're flying. Okay, oh, we almost cleared the building. That was definitely our closest try yet. And go. Okay, that looks pretty good. Good ollie. Uh-oh, why are we going sideways? Why are we going sideways? Oh, into the building. Oh, right into the rail. Sometimes you just got to keep adjusting. Oh, my gosh, that was a perfect speed glitch, but I didn't hit the ramp right somehow. And go okay that looks pretty good oh i think we cleared the building we cleared the building oh we're we gonna land here oh we almost landed there which is not where we're trying to land oh my gosh look at that speed that was perfect oh we're flying oh my gosh where are we go we actually went too far oh that speed was crazy oh my gosh we're just trying to land on this part not all the way over here in the other road at least i know i can get the super fast speed glitch if i need to okay that was not a super fast speed glitch right there Bang. Oh, that's so fast. Oh my gosh. That looks so good. Okay, landed the road. Come on. No, we landed. What? Oh, we hit that. Oh, that would be brutal. That was definitely our closest try yet. Perfect speed. That was beautiful. I think we're going too far to the left though, maybe. Oh, yes, too far to the left again. Oh my gosh, that's perfect. Yes, okay. Land on the road, please. No, so close. Okay. Oh, that looks beautiful. Oh, come on. Land in the road. Land in the road. And bang! Let's go! Oh, it's just like Heisenberg. We collapse right at the end, but we landed it. That is a tough spot to land because right when you land, you are met by a curb. <laughs> Look at my guy's leg. He's going flying. Pictures taken moments before disaster. Oh, that was so cool. We landed in like the bank on the side and rolled away. But watch this. Just boop right into the curb and we literally explode. We just die right there on the spot. Face plant. Yep, he is not okay. All right, Heisenberg gap complete. Let's try to film it. Let's just say I really like the end of this clip, but all right, let's play it. Oh my gosh, he absolutely eats it at the end. But all right, there we go, guys. Challenge number two complete. Our next challenge comes from Dark Magic 101. He calls this the biggest cliff gap in Skate 3. Let's watch the clip here. You can see he's at the quarry, and oh, he misses the speed glitch, and he does the speed glitch. Just flying. Oh my gosh, the clip goes so fast. But look at this landing, guys. He goes over the mountain and then lands what he lands perfectly and i don't even know what that thing is let's watch this landing again it's like a silo or something and it's like 
What? That is such a crazy landing over a giant cliff. This is definitely going to be the hardest challenge of the episode. All right, so here we are at the spawn point of the quarry. I'm pretty sure he goes just like right over that. This is another challenge where we can't actually see where we're trying to land. But hopefully we can do the speed glitch, ride on top of the cliff, and then land down in the bottom silo. That is going to be insane. I'm ready for a battle. I have to place this ramp like totally blind. Like I actually cannot see at all where we're supposed to be going. Let's set our marker here. I guess we just have to send it a couple of times. Imagine we land this on, like, our first try. Well, that's definitely not our first try. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh, wall ride. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is going so poorly already. And go. Okay, there we go. Good start onto the mountain. No, we have to ride over the mountain. We got to make it cleanly onto the mountain and over the mountain. Not straight into... Was that a tree? That looked like a pole. Oh, we're up here. Oh, this is kind of cool. I don't know if I've ever actually been up here before. Let's go over on top of the cliff. Okay, but that's where we're trying to land down there in that second silo. And boop. Oh my gosh, we went flying. If we find a different place to land, does it still count? Probably not, but oh, we're back. Okay, that's better. Yes, hit the mountain. Yes. Oh my gosh. Okay, we need to go more to the right, it looks like, but that was definitely our best try yet. And go. Okay. Nope. I think, yeah, if we go over the mountain, I don't think it's ever going to work because if you see this, it sends you back if you're in the air for too long. Okay. Oh, that looks good. Come on. Yes. No, I hit the tree. That one was actually lined up, though. If I didn't hit the tree, that would have been a great attempt. Okay, another try. Nope, another tree. Okay, that looks pretty good. Yes. Yes, there we go. No, okay. It doesn't look like we're lined up to the left, but that was definitely our closest try. Yes, I've said that like every try, but that's because we keep getting closer and closer. Yes, that looks really good. Okay, perfect. Oh, all the other way down. No, we hit the roof. Okay, that was close again. We just need an absolutely perfect try in all aspects of this challenge. And then we're good. I guess that's every challenge, though. Oh, straight there? No way. Oh, we landed it without even touching the mountain. I didn't even think that was going to be possible. Let's go. We didn't even touch the cliff at all. I didn't think that was going to be possible. What a landing. Oh my gosh, that was actually insane. I did not even think that would be possible, guys. Remember earlier how I was saying it wouldn't be possible to do it without touching the mountain? Well, I just proved myself wrong. We completely cleared the mountain and we landed perfectly in the silo. I keep calling it a silo. I don't actually know what it is, but oh, thank you for the camera angle game. All right, that was awesome. We got to film that. I got to see that whole clip over the cliff. Wow. All right. That was an awesome clip. The mega cliff gap completed. What do you guys think? Did I one up the challenge by not even hitting the cliff at all? Or do you think it's actually harder to hit the cliff? Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I personally think that that was awesome. <laughs> I didn't even touch the cliff. But all right, guys, I have one final challenge for you. It comes from Aftermath on my subreddit. Let's watch the clip. They're on top of the stadium. They do the beach ball speakless. They're going flying. They call this the Hartley Stadium double gap because one gap to the launch or landing ramp at the shark and then another gap, big Benny on a 540 up onto the roof. That is awesome. I always love getting on top of the stadium. I've never even thought about doing like a double gap there all the way to the rooftop. All right, let's head to the stadium and we'll try this challenge. What the heck is happening? All right, we get to use one of my favorite launch glitches to get on top of the stadium here. We're going to be using the super dude launch glitch for all of you who know it. Basically, we're going to go over to this slanted surface here. You can do this glitch on just about any slanted surface. What you want to do is Ollie, Christ, Air, and then super dude. Oh, and then if you get it just right, it'll actually send you launching up into the sky. You can see sometimes his legs just get stuck in the ground. All right, come on. Let's get a perfect one. Oh, we exploded. Oh, my gosh. There we go. Launched out of the ground. We're over the stadium. Uh-oh. Are we going to be able to fly all the way back to where we need to be? I think we got it, guys. Let's go. All right. That is definitely the most fun way to get on top of the stadium. Now we need to go and try to do this beach ball speed glitch down into the landing ramp at the shark jump and then land somehow on top of the roof over there. All right, we're going to start all the way back here. Let's place down our beach ball. For those of you who don't know this speed glitch, basically, if you place a beach ball down and you run into it while holding RB, first thing, make sure you set it to your marker so you don't have to reset it every time. But if you hold down RB and then sprint and then press Y, oh my god, I missed it. Hold down Y right when you hit it. Oh, it'll actually launch you like that. Okay, now we need to go and actually aim to try to land on that landing ramp. The beach ball speed glitch is actually pretty variable. You don't always get what you want every time. And that's why I like to dub this as my least favorite speed glitch. But okay, there we go. Oh, we got to pull it all the way. Oh, we hit the head of the shark. Yeah, this is a speed glitch that can be hard to predict at times. But okay, here we go. Oh, we need to go more to the left still. I keep hitting the shark. 
Okay. Oh, this could be good. Cut it left. Okay. I think we got it to fakie. No, oh, we were so close. We're actually on the ramp. All right, we can get this. We just need a good beach ball speed glitch. Oh, all the way left. Okay. Little flip there. Fakie. No, how did I hit both sides of the ramp and not land on it? That looks really good. Okay. Perfect. Right onto the ramp, hopefully. Yes. Okay, fakie. Do we have enough speed to make it? No, we hit the freaking banner, dude. All right, that looks pretty good. Got it left. Oh, I think we're just going to miss it. Oh, the fin of the shark. We've hit every part of the shark now. Oh, my gosh. We're going fast. Okay. Left. Come on. Oh, right to the ramp. <gasps> yes. Perfect. Okay. One more launch. No, we're so close. Dang it. We're oh, that was cool wall ride, but we're so close to landing on the roof. Oh, okay. Got it left. Yes. No, maybe. No. <laughs> this is like our third challenge of the day where we're going out completely blind, not really knowing where we're trying to land. That was actually lined up. Okay. Yes. Right into the ramp. All right. And hit the Benihana. Bang. There we go. Right onto the roof. Oh, and we celebrate with the backflip. Bang! And we rode away on the other side. Let's go! Ooh, all right. That was a perfect clip. That was awesome. I really like that challenge. There you have it. The Hartley Stadium double gap, my friends. All right, let's film it. All right, there we go. That was a pretty cool line. Thank you for sending in that challenge. Well, all right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Once again, big thank you to Drake and Sang for sponsoring this video. If you'd like to download Drake and Sang for free, make sure you use the link in the description and you can go and download it on Steam. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up. And as always, stay sexy. See you guys.